channel. I'm hard at it today. Let me show you what I've been doing, guys. Getting this ceiling down. Get, got all that wood off the wall there. All the wood off of the wall there. And I am happy to say, let me find my uh, headlamp. I am happy to say that I thought a rat was living in there, but there, is, there was no evidence of that. Just a few droppings. I mean, he was in there somewhere, uh, but he hasn't been in there for a long time. But all my water lines, the electrical lines, all that, none of that's been chewed into. And uh, now, you can, I'm gonna show you. You can see that piece of insulation, how it fell there. Well, there used to be one there, apparently, and there needs to be one there, but I'm gonna put some foam in there. That's why all my water lines are freezing, because this is ice cold up in there. So I need to wrap these up all real good, get some of that foam board in there, and then you can see the fittings there. Once them things, them brass fittings get cold, it freezes. So the good news is he has not chewed any of the electrical lines. So all I need to really do now, I'm just going to use that as a junction box because I want my lights to be center in the office, the new office. The new office that used to be the bar that used to be the old office is going to be the new office. Okay. So I've got a couple of them uh, rolling lights. It's just a little flat recessed light, but I think they're pretty bright. I don't think it's going to need any more than one or two. And I got six of them, but I can use the others out in the building. As you can see, I just put the old ceiling over the, we had to cut this out to run the electrical and all that. It was just easier. I think there was some holes here anyway. Uh, I really need to get some foam board in that. I need to try to, but this is a loft above there. So it's not, this part I'm not worried about. But on the ends, there's not nothing. I mean, that's just directly to the roof. So I will get that insulated. So I don't really have the whole plan yet, but the, definitely the plan is to wall this up right here. Don't care if you say it ain't open. I don't give a rat's butt if it's open. What I mean by open is I'm gonna have like a half wall here. You'll still be able to see most of it. It's just gonna be better for me. And somebody says, why you gotta have any walls? Well, yeah, monitors, you can't suspend them in, in the air. Okay, you gotta have a monitor. My monitor goes on a wall. So I gotta have some walls. I don't care about this right here. That That's like that because that was a bar at one time. It ain't gonna be a bar no more. So I'm gonna wall it up. That's gonna cover up what's left of these cupboards here. That looks like walrus butt, okay? That looks like hammered walrus butt. So it would look better. I'll continue this wall up and uh, I'll have a nice, I don't need a big office. I don't. I'm gonna come out here like it was originally, only instead of a, I probably won't even do uh, a half wall. I'll probably just do a full wall straight up here. Make this one full wall. That's all I'll need. The rest of this will be open. It'll look good. It's not your room, it's my room. And I'm gonna tear all this off. All this metal, this, this metal's coming off. It's gonna have a whole new look. Whole new look. What it is, I don't know. I ain't ciphered on it yet. It's gonna be cheap, I can tell you that, but it'll look good. Don't know, but I'm getting rid of that. But now I don't care what people say, I am gonna do the ceiling like that. All the way in here, all the way here. This is terrible. It's an awful, awful job and it's coming down and it ain't fun because i did it with phillips head screws and phillips head screws suck all right so the next thing to do i'm gonna get the rest of this wood out of here most of this wood <laughs> you want to see something funny when i thought the rat was in there i pumped a whole can of great stuff in there and yeah it filled it all right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to protect some of these wiring. And now would be a good time, if I want to, to rerun my stove wire. That's the stove wire right there. That's not what you use on a stove. So, this is the ideal time to do that. It, what it does, it runs down here. and runs down this wall and into this knee wall. And if I can get it to this point, I can get it to this point. So I'm gonna, that's gonna be very expensive. So, 
but I have to do that. I have to do that now if I ever want a real working stove that I don't have to worry about. Now that's worked for many years, but I quit using the oven probably a year and a half ago. And that's just, I mean, it, it has worked fine. And that's some big rated stuff. That's south wire. I don't, it's bigger than that little south wire. So it may be fine, but uh, I'm just going to play it on the safe side. All right. So I need to get this piece off here. Take this down to just two by fours. Get these strips off of here. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing any sheet rocking. It's probably going to be beadboard or something else. But uh, yeah, that's the old original. It was covered in nicotine. I put about three coats of kills on there. And I got to go pull all these little nails out for where that wood was on. We'll get it looking much better than it was. You will see. All right, let me get some more work done. All right, we got all that stuff wrapped up. Got the strips off. Uh, let me explain another reason why I'm, I'm going to put a wall here because on the other side of this wall I want to put a vent for my stove which I've never had very very simple to do when I add the wall I run the venting pipe up through here straight out so that'll be real easy I'll probably have to remove I'm going to remove this piece of sheetrock anyway I'll probably just cut it right there take it out and that way I can wrap up all my water lines and then I can put my vent I'm just gonna put it straight out the wall and then I can put another cupboard up there so if you want to look at it from this side there's my stove and I'll be able to put up a vent I may have to move the stove down a little I'm not done here in the kitchen either the, the counters are not permanent you know they're they're temporary so i'm gonna probably change that up don't know let's just get that room finished so that will all be closed in i like a smaller kitchen i don't need a big old kitchen it's just me so that's what we're going to do there and that'll that'll allow me to run my uh i can run my electrical outlets straight down tap into that because that line there there's only two outlets running off of it so there's plenty of room to add up to six more outlets if I want. So I can run my electrical wire straight down, run it through there, put an outlet over here, put two outlets over here, and one over here. And then wire my lights. I can do it all off of that. I just use that as a junction box and continue on, you know. So i found something i put in here years ago these are all over the house I put these cans in here in case for in the future they tear it down look at there put like 35 40 cents in there for them yeah i'll stick that back in there i tore that cedar off here now i'm going to get this crap off here this will all look the same the whole wall the metal's coming off that metal's coming off I'm going to go ahead and pull that. Now, I haven't pulled the strips off the ceiling yet. Because I'm probably just going to still need them. I'm still going to need those for whatever, for the metal that I put up. And uh, that will match up right to that. I'm, I still need to take that strip off there. Go ahead and leave it up for now. But I just wanted it off to this point for now. So I can get this framed out. And I don't think there's going to be a doorway or anything here. I could. I could bring out a little bitty wall and front kind of frame in a doorway, but that really ain't no reason for that. I'm trying to do this uh, within, you know, a reasonable amount of money. So, and I can reuse this metal that I'm taking off up here. In fact, that may be, I got some more of that I took down, I believe. I should have enough to finish that part. So that helps. You can see where the old uh, outlet was. All that old electrical was cut and left in place and covered up. But I need to do a better job in here. Uh, I wouldn't even mind. If conduit wasn't so darn expensive, I'd go get some. But it hasn't, nothing's bothered it in all this time. So we'll just leave it be. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go see what them monsters are doing. Oh, that just two of your shorts together. They've got about 14,000 views in two days. Did you know that? You're pretty popular.
everybody says you need to be brushed but i can brush you and two seconds later you're back to that because that's the way your hair is so the heck with those what are you doing telly you guys are in the shade located my plants up here my seeds up here out of the way look at the radishes man that's rad all radishes that's all radishes uh I don't really see anything coming up in there, but that's tomatoes and eggplant. Tomatoes are starting to come up. And I don't know, what's that say? Roma tomatoes, they're coming up. So the seeds were good. Just takes a while to get them going. The radishes, they started coming up a day after I planted them. A day. And it's only been like a week. Look at them. So I'm going to probably just take them right out. I put them in a bigger pot and then take them outside. It's, man, we're going to be in the 80s. It is unreasonably warm. Well, I found out where the rat was getting in. Right there. You can see he's been chewing on that insulation. It looked like he'd been taking it out. Uh, but that hole was not that big when I put that gas line in. So I'm going to cut that gas line out of there. This is where the wall furnace used to be, but it ain't here no more. So I'm going to cut that out. Fill that in with some spray foam and get them strips off. And I'll get all the metal off. Boy, that was a horrible sheetrock job. Should have hung it vertical, but I didn't. I mean, it wasn't horrible. But uh, it was never meant to be seen anyway. But And it's still not going to be seen. So the metal's off, so I'll just take this piece off and this trim stuff. <laughs> I must have used every kind of screw there is when I was doing this, man. I had T25s, T20s, the hexagon kind, the star, you name it. I had to go dig for the T20. That took forever. Never use T20. T25 on everything. Phillips head, they just they ought to quit making them. They're garbage. They always were, especially with a power drill. So, all right, let me get these strips off. And uh, I already got me a hole cut for an outlet. Yeah. Not quite sure. That's probably where the old outlet was. And I went ahead and cut it when I hung a sheetrock thinking I was going to restring some electric. But that's good because that's where we'll put one probably. Since it's already there. Cut the size. Alright. I guess that's a good stopping point for now. Uh, got them strips off. And the metal and all that. So it's probably going to be next weekend before I start start on this you know gotta wait on the funds i don't make the money the big channels make but i got plenty of work i can do until then i gotta go around here with some pliers and pull all these little nails out that's always fun so that'll give me some time to really think of what i really want for this but you know it's just gonna be a simple nothing fancy uh where i can hang some of my monitors this and that and what have you. All right, guys, that's about all I'm going to talk about this for now. And uh, this is going to be a pretty simple process, just making this wall go back up. But that's going to allow me to get the fan that I need. And that's going to make it a lot better in here when I'm cooking. And, you know, I have the smoke incidents. I've had quite a few of them. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Happy trails.